Habitat for Humanity is an essential organization in this community and many communities throughout the United States and throughout the world. Um, we are an organization that really meets its mission every single day to provide access to affordable housing for families who may not ever have access to a home of their own. And there couldn't be more deserving families uh, than we have in Thomas and Jacqueline. And I mean, you guys know what a special place you hold in Habitat's heart, and we can't wait to get going. I'm, I'm uh, the caregiver. I help them with all of their daily activities, bathing, dressing, f meals, those kinds of things. M um, Jackie has a primary caregiver that does most of her care, but I will fill in now and then. And I have to say I'm probably the primary caregiver of Tom. They're just, they're decent, good human beings that had the misfortune of being in an accident and having their mobility and a, a lot of their everyday activities taken away from them. We don't know for sure, but the back tire blew out and it caused me to roll. And, uh, and as a result, I ended up breaking my neck. And it was all happened right in front of the emergency room. So had it not happened in front of the emergency room, I wouldn't have lived. In 2009, um, my brother and my sister-in-law now, um, and my boyfriend at the time, and a friend of ours, we went out bowling. And on our way home, we were hit by a drunk driver. And everybody luckily was okay, but I ended up getting injured. Tom and Jackie were very unique applicants for us. Uh, both of them are disabled. Jackie is a quadriplegic and has been so for most of her adult life. There were a lot of accessibility issues with the living space that she was in. So where I'm living currently, um, I, I really love it. I feel incredibly lucky to be in this apartment. Um, it is ADA certified, um, but that doesn't mean that it's accommodating for a quadriplegic. Uh, you know, ADA spans the gamut of somebody that has a brain injury and can walk and talk and, and you know, uh, get around pretty well to people who are actually totally, you know, don't have very much use of their arms and hands and so forth and so on. And so when they make an ADA accessible apartment, it's not always up to the standards of what a quadriplegic needs. To find a place where I have enough room for my wheelchair, or I have a roll-in shower, or I have a Hoyer system um, so people can get me out of bed. Um, it's just a lot of things that people don't really realize unless you're in the situation, or unless you really know somebody that is injured on a higher level. A roll-in shower. Things like having the light fixtures a little bit lower, and the electrical outlet's a little bit higher. Um, you just things to customize a little bit to my uh, to my disability. The the basic reason that Tom wants to move out of there is because the area is not a very good area of town, and it's it's his entrance is right next to the alley. And there's not, there's some savory, unsavory characters that live in that particular area. That's one of the reasons that this opportunity for them with Habitat is just awesome. It's just an awesome opportunity because they can have their houses built basically how they need them. Well, when we first heard about Habitat, it was like a dream come true. I would have never in a million years dreamt that I would have my own home, um, a backyard and, you know, and being able to live next to one of my best friends, um, Tom. I mean, it's just amazing. And I mean, I truly believe that God has had his hand in this um, because we're gonna be living right next to a caregiver, Margaret. 
And this whole idea of, of him owning his own house is just like, he's just so excited you can't keep him, you know, you can't keep him under control. And Jackie's the same way. She never ever thought after, especially after her accident, of course she had hopes and dreams before the accident that she would someday own her own house and so forth. But, you know, after her accident, that was all like dashed. And so then they decided when, when uh, Sherry said, yeah, they'd be good candidates and we went for it. It was just, uh, just give them the opportunity to be as close to normal as they can. I never thought that this would happen and they are truly amazing people and everybody that volunteers for them and it's just, it's overwhelming sometimes and uh, I just feel extremely lucky and extremely blessed. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Habitat for Humanity gives people hope. It gives people a safe place to live and to raise their children. It gives them access to a real community, a neighborhood that is created. And I'm at a loss for words when it comes to this um, because they've given me hope. And that's, that's worth a lot in this world. <laughs>